Hey, what's up? It's Gabriela Marte here at Helps2. I'm here to talk to you today about the reality behind getting discovered. Before I get started, make sure you subscribe. Y'all know that we love putting out content here at Help Sue. You don't wanna miss it, okay? So don't. So I wanna to talk to you today about getting discovered. A lot of artists, whether you're a musician, writer, designer, I don't know, there's so many different like professions nowadays, not just artists, where people like discover you, discover you, and then all of a sudden you make it and like you're rich and life is good. That is a cute idea, but the reality behind it is probably only about like 1% of people get discovered. I'm here to drop a reality bomb on you. I want to rearrange your mind and change your thinking because maybe a record label could come by your side and help you, but the reality is whether you're an artist, like a musician artist or a writer artist where a publishing company would want to like sign you or a designer where a company would want to take your designs and put them on put them on meaning like they use them and like give you like royalties and stuff for them I want to come through and change your thinking because a lot of people really don't come by your side until you're like in this mature stage as an artist and then even then you might not even want it by then because you might be so mature where you're like I'm making money and I don't even need people to come by my side and support me or blow this thing up anymore like I'm already doing it I don't need your help anymore record label. <laughs> you might think that way. And so uh, I feel like I have been in the game long enough to give a little perspective. I've been in music for 10 years, over 10 years now. I've dropped quite a few projects and gone to tour and open for some cool people. It has been a wild ride. I'm so thankful to God. He has done incredible things through my life. So I want to give you a new perspective of thinking so that you don't paralyze yourself just waiting as an artist because you are valuable right here, right now, today, you have a message, and even more so, you don't need a big superpower, aka like a record label or publishing company to come behind you to actually reach people. Get that out of your mind. Even if you're reaching one person, that person could shift the whole nation in a year, like you don't know, Martin Luther King, he like shifted a whole generation in terms of just standing up and there were certain people that influenced him that we'll probably never hear about. So you might be one of those people that actually shifts culture, but like from a secondary position. Maybe you'll be someone that influences the next Martin Luther King or whatever kind of rights advocate you don't know. That's how powerful art is. Let's take out of your brain the whole discovery mentality. It happens, but it is so rare that you could spend your whole life trying to get discovered and never get discovered and just kill yourself and art won't even be fun to you anymore. Your artistry will just be boring or you'll hate it or you'll despise it. So I wanna put this new seed in your mind, right? This new thought that life is an accumulation of small steps and small things. Small steps, you take a step every day doing what you like to do and you're consistent that's huge and it makes a huge difference when you look back in three years. And small things, you'd be surprised how incredibly powerful you writing a song or doing a design is. Don't wait for this big moment to put a project together because all of a sudden you feel like someone has affirmed you and is gonna give you 10 grand to do it. Don't wait, do it now. Make sure that you are developing your craft with the small steps every single day and those things really make a difference so if there's anything I could leave you with today is that the discovery mentality only happens for about 1% of people so what about the 99% that's out there that wants to reach people it's okay to start with the small and then watch it grow a lot of artists that you see at the top they started small they really did they really did so start small it's okay to start small give you permission to start small. If you're new here, welcome. If you are not new here, I love y'all. Make sure you comment below. I would like to hear what small steps that you can be taking in your artistry or your small business to get to the next level and eventually arrive at where you dream of being. Your dreams aren't stupid. They're not too far away. You're not stuck. But what can you start doing, even if it's the tiniest thing, going to a conference, writing the song and putting it out and just testing the waters with it. What is it that you can do to make a difference right where you're at and to reach people right where you're at? You don't need a million followers. What can you do right now? So with that, you guys subscribe and I will see you later. Bye.